I'm going to show you how to set up a computer and optimize it for like a gaming or high-end uh, computer. Number one is ensure you have the latest BIOS. So I have an ASUS P6X58D Premium. That's my motherboard. I bought about uh, 2010, so it's about three years old. Checking on the ASUS website, you see that this is an Intel LGA 1366 platform or an Intel X58 chipset. So you do a Google search for the X58 chipsets and you can find a download for it. On the ASUS website, the latest chipset is 9.1.1.1020. On the Intel website, the latest is 9.4.0.1026. So it's, you know, three versions have gone by that fix bugs, patch uh, vulnerabilities, improve performance, etc. Now that we have all the Windows updates installed, the software distribution folder in the C Windows software distribution is where all the updates are stored and it's a 1.6 gig folder which is you don't need it anymore and uh, so we're going to remove 1.6 gig so I go into computer management services look for Windows update stop that service Okay, now go back to the software distribution, right click it, rename it, I rename it software distribution dot old. <clears throat> Start the Windows Update service again, hit OK. Then you'll see that a, a new software distribution folder is created and it's now you can rerun Windows updates and it'll say well Windows update was never ran and but yet yeah, it has and all your updates are installed. You can delete this. So Microsoft update or Windows update leaves a lot of junk files behind that are not necessary. So every once in a while, maybe once or twice a year, go in and clear out your software distribution folder. And I've seen some of these folders upwards of 10 gig. Uh, people just install updates and updates and more updates. And over the years, uh, you know, it, this is a brand new install of Windows 7 and it's already 1.6 gig. So you could imagine what uh, two or three years of uh, installing updates could do. I'm going to tell you a little secret that Microsoft doesn't want you to know. The Windows Malicious Software Removal Tool is actually Microsoft Spyware. And uh, if you install this, it will pop up a little agreement that says, uh, we agree, you agree that uh, every file on your computer will be scanned and then a uh, checksum will be sent back to Microsoft. This is one of the useless tools that Microsoft puts on here as a and, and hides it as a, a critical update. This does absolutely nothing for the security of your computer. This does not patch any vulnerabilities. Okay, you have an antivirus to scan for malicious software. This utility does absolutely nothing for the security of your computer. Okay, it does not prevent you from getting infected. It does not do anything. In fact, it says it, the blaster sasser might. All this stuff is from 10 years ago. If your antivirus does not detect uh, my doom and blaster and stuff like that, then you need to get a new antivirus, <laughs> obviously. So they can tell exactly what is on your computer. Um, when I worked for the Department of Defense doing vulnerability scanning on their servers and workstations, this was a Category 2 vulnerability as per DISA. If this was installed on a DoD computer, this was considered a vulnerability because it sent back information to Microsoft. So I never install 
this ever. Thank you, Microsoft, for lying to us. Another waste of space is the hibernation file. This file is 4 gig. Okay, well, this is a workstation. I don't put my workstation into hibernate. It's either on or off. This is 4 gig of space that is wasted. To turn off hibernation and remove that file, come down here to the start, type CMD right here. You have to run as an admin. Okay, type P O W E R power CFG dot EXE. Hibernate off. Power config hibernate off. And that file disappears. There's four gig on your hard drive you just reclaimed. Then another tweak that I like to do is disable autoplay. Autoplay is where you put in a CD or a thumb drive and if it has a uh, auto start file then it can uh, automatically start installing. I, d I don't like that and that is actually a good way of catching a virus. Somebody gives you a CD and it has uh, malicious code embedded into it and it auto starts there your system is now infected so uncheck this box click save and your auto start is disabled another uh, tweak that I like to do is set my page file to a static size right now it's set at 6 gig not really necessary because I have 6 gig of uh, memory in my system and I have no problem running all kinds of uh, stuff here. To change the page file, go into your system properties, advanced settings, performance, um, uncheck the automatic manage page file size, and uh, I'm going to set it to 2 gig. Also, another tweak is set your visual effects for performance. Before it was let Windows choose and it had all kinds of crap enabled. All these enabled takes up processor power. Also on your startup um, uncheck automatic restart and you don't need a dump file. That is just a waste of uh, hard drive space. If your computer crashes you're not going to figure anything out from the dump file anyway so it's not worth it. Another useless feature that Microsoft put into Windows Vista, Windows 7, and Windows 8 is the user account control settings. This, I, I don't know why they did that. Um, it annoys people into turning it off. It does absolutely nothing for security. It doesn't discriminate between a trusted signed executable from Microsoft or a virus so you, most people don't even read what the pop-up says um, you know that pop-up saying do you want to allow this program to do, you know have admin privileges and blah 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 so go into your control panel under user accounts change user account control settings turn it off that way you're not getting any pop-ups when you're playing games and I can honestly say ever since Vista came out this feature has never prevented one person from getting infected by a virus oh look see this this annoying it and it doesn't even tell you what it's trying to do so you know it, it, it completely useless another uh, tweak you can do is running defrag um, running it all the time is not really necessary and it will just uh, decrease the life of your hard drives eventually. Um, if you've ever had an antivirus scan or a uh, defrag kick in while you're playing a game, it uh, pretty much kills your gameplay. So disable the automatic scheduling. More features that can be disabled are Windows features. So go to Programs and Features. Go to Windows Features on or off. I don't use media features. Um, media Center, I don't 
play videos on my computer media player I don't do that um, I don't use internet printing I don't use fax and scan um, it's not a tablet so don't even know why that's on there Windows gadget I don't use that XPS printing okay so the more stuff that you have uninstalled or disabled the faster your computer is going to run the less junk running in the background which Windows is notorious for doing the more performance it can dedicate to your game another useless piece of software that Microsoft bundles is Windows Defender I don't know anybody who uses it I've never used it um, it's basically the Microsoft antivirus that uh, is included with the operating system and it is set to scan your computer daily disable real-time protection you don't need it uh, download a reputable antivirus and you don't you don't need this uh, this is just gonna run in the background and you wonder why your computer is running so slow Another feature of Windows that wastes a lot of uh, CPU cycles is the scheduled tasks. There are a lot of default tasks which run in the background when you don't need it. Um, things that are absolutely not needed. Click on the start menu, go to your box here, type schedule, and up here you'll see the up here you see the scheduled task. Open that. Expand all this. Okay. Um, you see this list of tasks. Some are disabled, some are uh, not disabled. Application experience. Really? Do you really need that? No, you don't. Okay, it's this this is another I guess a backdoor or spyware that Microsoft puts in there aggregates and uploads application telemetry information if opted into Microsoft customer experience improvement program really and it's set to run even though I've never opted in for the Microsoft customer experience improvement program it's still set it's still queued at 2 30 a.m. every day so right click that disable you can either delete it or disable I just disable it in case you know I don't wanna I don't wanna mess anything up auto check this task collects and uploads auto check SQM data if opted into the customer experience improvement program and it's set to ready and it in it that means it can run at any time I, and I didn't opt in for anything so disable it Bluetooth I don't even know why this is even installed. My system has no Bluetooth adapter or network card or anything in it. Certificate services uh, we'll leave alone because you may need that. Customer experience improvement program, really? Consolidator, yeah, disable that, disable that, disable that. Defrag, uh, don't need that, disable that. If I want to defrag, I will do it on my time, on my schedule. Location activity. I uh, don't need Microsoft tracking my location. Maintenance. I don't need it to measure my performance. Media center is empty. Memory diagnostics. I don't need to schedule memory diagnostics. Uh, network net trace. Network information collector. Okay, don't need that. Okay, all these uh, like diagnostics, memory diagnostics, disk diagnostics, power efficiency diagnostics, disable it. You don't need it. Um, absolutely no reason why you need it. Just, it. It runs in the background, slows your system down. RAS. Mobility manager. Provide support for switching mobility. Okay, well, we're not using, I don't use a VPN. I'm on a home network. Remote assistance. Um, I don't ever need remote assistance. I can fix most of the stuff myself. So yeah. Gadget manager. I don't use any gadgets on my desktop. So you might as well disable that. 
Okay, I'll leave the TCP IP as it is because that uh, lets you know if another computer on your network has the same IP or, or computer name. I don't use UPnP. It's actually kind of a vulnerability to enable UPnP on your routers and on your systems. You can really uh, get into a lot of trouble by having that enabled. There's all kinds of uh, UPnP vulnerabilities if you have it enabled on your router. There's no reason to enable Windows error reporting. All, all this scheduled task does is this scheduled task notifies the user that Windows backup has not been configured. That is the sole purpose of this task. So you get that annoying pop-up saying, you need to back up your Windows. No, I don't need to back up my Windows. Thank you very much. Windows Defender. We disabled this, but yet it's still set to run when the computer is idle. And it will never run because I will disable it. Okay, so there you see that there are a lot of scheduled tasks that run in the background without you even knowing it. And this is just the default install of Windows 7. Another feature that you can disable that you may not need, um, I don't really use it, is your system protection. Don't really use system protection. I have a backup of my computer on a, uh, a Cronus image, so if something goes wrong, I'll just back it up from that. This saves you a lot of space on your hard drive because the cache for the uh, system protection is set um, at 2% of my drive, which is 9.3 gig. And the next step I'm going to do to optimize my gaming machine is disable all of these useless services which you do not use on a standalone computer. A lot of these services are unnecessary and there's a good site called uh, Black Viper that uh, you can go through and see exactly what services can be disabled. Instead of going through manually and uh, doing it one by one, I created a batch file which will do it automatically. Uh, this took me quite a while to compile together and test, but this is for a standalone workstation used for gaming. If you use your workstation for anything like uh, network sharing or file server or anything, this will pretty much disable that. Um, so use at your own risk. I use it on my Windows 7 gaming box because all the the group policy stuff and network stuff is not needed on a standalone workstation. Um, don't run this on any anything that uh, you're not supposed to be running it on. And it was that fast. Rather than going through each one of these services and setting it correctly to tweak everything out, you just run that batch file, reboot, and uh, you're almost finished with uh, optimizing your gaming machine. One utility that I always install on my Windows workstation is CCleaner, or formerly known as Crap Cleaner. Helps to uh, keep your machine nice and uh, free of junk files. This is the first time I've ran it, and it's already got 432 meg of junk to remove. The antivirus I use is Komodo Internet Security. Um, I always do a custom install. I don't install Geek Buddy. I don't install Komodo Dragon, and I want all the alerts that uh, another software utility I use is uh, Secunia PSI which uh, scans your computer and looks for any outdated software. This is a Secunia PSI or personal software inspector scan and all my software comes back is updated. Unless you're specifically logging into a domain you don't need the client for Microsoft Networks, you don't need the quality of service packet schedule, you don't need file and print sharing turned on, and you don't need IPv6. 
disable it in your network adapter properties. And you don't need to link topology, discover responder. Uh, you don't need to discover other workstations on your network. Uh, this is for gaming, not, not being accessible. Um, this is what I do. I don't use all this crap, so I just disable it. Less stuff enabled, the faster your PC is going to be. Third-party browser called Firefox. I'm sure many of you use it. Um, never use Internet Explorer or Internet Exploder. I can't emphasize enough not ever to use that piece of crap software. Um, just about every virus out there has ever been spawned by Internet Exploder. <laughs> um, it's just tied too deeply into the operating system and too easy to compromise. Even the Internet Exploder 10 and 11, I would never ever use Internet Explorer as my default browser. Even today, people are still getting hit by viruses because of Internet Explorer. Um, you know, Firefox is a little bit better. Google Chrome, uh, Safari, Opera. You use something that uh, you know had less of a uh, less of a footprint. You know, probably one of the biggest speed improvements you're ever going to get is increasing the amount of memory you have in your system. Probably the cheapest as well. Max out the amount of memory you have, and enable Ready Boost. If you don't have the money for an SSD drive buy a little USB 2 or 3 compatible thumb drive and use it as a hard drive cache. This is a 16 gigabyte uh, USB 3.0 compatible thumb drive and I use what is called Windows Ready Boost and it uses a thumb drive as a cache between the hard drive, the electromechanical hard drive and the motherboard and the bigger your your thumb drive, the better your performance is. So I'm gonna put this into the USB 3.0 port and then it show you how to enable Ready Boost. Okay, so I put the uh, thumb drive in and it will be detected as Right click your thumb drive, go to Ready Boost, and dedicate. And now you have a dedicated hard drive cache. The slowest piece of hardware on your computer is always going to be your hard drive. Um, the only way to improve the speed of your hard drive is to get an SSD. Even with a Ready Boost. USB 3.0 device your hard drive is your mechanical hard drive is still the slowest thing on your gaming computer so if you want performance fork out a couple hundred dollars for an SSD drive and you'll see a huge uh, boost in your performance one thing I highly recommend if you have a GeForce video card is to download the G uh, software called the GeForce experience what this does, it will scan your computer for games and offer you the optimum settings for these games. I don't have anything installed on here, so it'll also check for your updated driver. You can check for updates. Um, show you your rig. I have a GeForce GTX 4800, an Intel i7 running at 3 gig. 6 gig of RAM and you know Windows 7. And the last step in uh, tweaking a gaming computer is cleaning it believe it or not. Uh, you'd be surprised at uh, how much dust and dirt can get into your computer even no matter how clean you keep your house or how clean you keep your computer room. Um, there's always going to be dust and dirt you can see here a spider took up residence inside of here and made a web and it's only been 10 months since I last took this thing apart and cleaned it so um, take your uh, vacuum and go in there and uh, vacuum you know unplug everything so you don't get 
shocked or short anything out and just uh, you know clean out the fans you see here the fans are kind of dirty get a paintbrush and uh, just clean everything out um, where I live there's all this fine dust everywhere and you may have to take your fans out and uh, dust them out or take it outside and blow it out with a uh, air compressor that's even better but uh, you know I have a, a water-cooled CPU here and so the cleaner you keep your system the cooler it's gonna run and the better it's gonna run and the longer it will last you I spent uh, probably about two thousand dollars on this system so I pulled the CPU cooling radiator off and found this cleaning your case out every six months is very important 